just imagine during the reign of George III that you did the Grand Tour and you would have gone to Italy and you would have been to see the Vatican. To stay up to date with recent acquisitions, tips about caring for your cherished pieces and free antiques fairs invitations, why not subscribe to our newsletter using the link below. Now, within the Vatican, there's one room that is called the Logia, which was decorated by Raphael, the famous artist. Now, he painted the decoration in the Logia two years before his death, and that was in about 1518. He undertook a monumental commission for Pope Leo X, the vaulted arcade within the private apartments of the Vatican, and it was inspired by recent excavations in Pompeii and the Campania. Raphael covered the Logia's walls and ceilings with painted ornament in the antique style. Like Leonardo and Michelangelo, Raphael was inspired by the rebirth of classical art and learning that characterized the Renaissance. So you would have gone there and you would have been able to buy as a memento of your visit, a set of engravings just like this. These were printed during the period of the 1770s by Johann Ottaviani. This was his major work and he became famous for it. The engravings are hand colored using gouache rather than watercolor. Gouache, which is a denser medium, doesn't fade the way that watercolor does. So you have here four engravings, a set of four engravings that date from the 1770s that are by Ottaviani. They're all perfectly inscribed and each one tells a different story from the Bible. And if we start here with this one, here we have the story of M Moses being found in the bulrushes and you can see all the decoration around there in the neoclassical. We have Moses presents the tables of law, Moses with the tablets as they're known today. And you can see again all the different birds, the animals, the heads, the flowers and the fruit, all the neoclassical symbolism. This one here is Cain and Abel, the labors of Adam and Eve. The scene depicts sowing the land, evocative of promise and hope, and Eve smiling with sons Cain and Abel. And the fourth one, which is Noah, with his sons building the ark. Again, another fabulous story from the Bible with all the symbolism that you see there. This set is extremely rare, very valuable and very beautiful. Thank you for watching this masterclass. You can subscribe to our channel by pressing the notification bell below. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.